Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. In order to build a Windows Server 2008 R2 failover cluster, our servers, our network, and our storage needs to meet certain requirements. First of all, we need to be running Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprise or Data Center on all our nodes. And we have to be running the same version on all of our nodes. So we can't have one node that's running Enterprise and another node that's running Data Center. On Windows Server 2008 R2 Standard or Web Server Edition, failover clustering is not supported. Our server hardware on each node needs to be the same or similar. Now this is ultimately determined by a validation test that we'll talk about in a second. But really you don't want to be failing over to different hardware. It should be very very close to being the same if not the same. Our shared storage needs to be iSCSI, Fiber Channel, or Serial Attached SCSI. Parallel SCSI is no longer supported. Also our cluster disks need to be basic disks. So dynamic disks are not supported for your clustered storage. Now for the storage that's on your server on each node that can be a dynamic disk that's fine this is just your cluster disks also MBR and GPT partition styles are both supported so if we need to have a shared storage uh, LUN or drive that's over two terabytes then we can make that disk a GPT partition style now let's talk about the validation test. In order for our cluster to be supported by Microsoft, meaning we can call them and actually get support on it if we need to, it has to pass a validation test. Now this is much easier than it was with Windows Server 2003 clusters where all of our cluster had to be on a hardware compatibility list put out by Microsoft. So the complete configuration needed to be supported. Well now, you know, we can mix and match a bit with different vendors as long as it passes this validation test that we actually run when we go to set up the cluster then it's supported so it's a lot easier than it was with Windows Server 2003 and we'll actually see this validation test when we go to build our cluster just a couple of limitations here for our Windows Server 2008 R2 cluster it can only be a member of one cluster that is each node can only be a member of one cluster so I can't have a node that's a member of cluster 01 and another node that is in that cluster but also a member of another cluster so all of our nodes in our cluster can only be a member of that cluster they can't be a member of any other cluster plus we can only have 16 nodes maximum in a cluster so that's as big as our cluster is going to get and we need at least two and also all of our nodes need access to the shared storage